Well, hello. Okay, so I am going to be putting together my menu plan and I am going to share it with you all. I am headed into the store to see if I can find some ingredients that I need for my week's worth of menus. And it's gonna be fun. I need, I do need some bread flour because what I'm going to do is I, I've made that sourdough bread and I want to make the dough again, but I wanna make four small loaves and then I wanna make like a bread bowl and put soup in it. So I think that will be a lot of fun. And then I wanna make some more pizza rolls so I need some more bread flour. And I'm going to be creating my menu plan, hopefully. What I will do is when I am done, I will turn you around and I will show you my menu plan. I will share it with you. And I got a new cookbook that I'm excited to show you. We can look at it together. There's a lot of fun recipes and it's, it's a great cookbook. I got it at Barnes and Nobles. So I'm going to show you that. I'm gonna go run into the grocery store and get the ingredients I need. I need some green beans too, fresh and we will go from there. I made it inside the Kroger and it is not that busy yet, but look at the produce section. So when I went into the bookstore, it was Barnes and Nobles. This is the book I was talking about. It's Dinner Made Simple, 35 Everyday Ingredients, 350 Easy Recipes, and it is from the editors of Real Simple. And I love Real Simple. I get their magazine. And it was under $10. I left that little sticker on to show you, but it comes off super easy. So I was looking at these pictures and I love recipes with pictures. And I don't think they make recipe books without pictures anymore. Remember those old school books that they, okay. This is absolutely beautiful. This would make such a beautiful lunch. I'm going to pick a couple of these recipes, one or two, and I'm going to put them into my menu plan that I'm going to share with you after this. Peas in a pod. Creamy carrot dip with crudite, spiced carrot soup. And that is also, is I need a cream soup to fill my sourdough bowls that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna create. So this is all about carrots. Yes, I have a huge bag of carrots because I juice and I just love to juice carrots. Bacon and blue cheese mashed potatoes. I love blue cheese. Brown butter mashed potatoes. Chipotle cheddar mashed potatoes, mushroom and thyme mashed potatoes. It looks like I'm going to add some mashed potatoes to my meal plan. I made poke bowls. This is what, you know, we call them with the rice and the egg. And How many different mashed potatoes? Okay, so that's 10, three, four, Scallion and potato soup. That looks like a good one for the sourdough bowl. Salmon, potato, and arugula salad with dill dressing. Okay, so this is one. What is the potatoes? Okay, so just when you thought everyone's favorite spud couldn't get any more tantalizing, it has 10 times over. So there's one. Okay, so they're counting to 10. What's after 10? Is there any more? Oh, Kino. Mediterranean stuffed zucchini. This is going to do me well when my squash comes in. And this is sausage with white beans and tarragon. I really like white beans. Have you ever made that white bean chili? Italian sausage. Yes. And these are, oh, this is, wait. So we're turkey, this is turkey pasta. Pasta and turkey, turkey. I think I'm getting the hang of this cookbook. Is this turkey chili? Sure looks good. It is Thai turkey salad. Oh, I was way off, it's a salad. <laughs> okay, so these are hamburgers. Oh, I love alfalfa sprouts. 
So this is the book and this is the back of it. Think you'll never win at weeknight cooking. I think this is good even on weekends. So it originally is priced at $24.95, but at Barnes & Noble, it was in their $10 section. And I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the $25. It was a, it, this is a sensational cook. I love cookbooks. Okay, so I'm going to add some to my menu plan, and then I'm going to share my menu plan right after this in two and two. Once a week, I create a menu plan, and it's a guide for me to go by for my dinners. And when I am done with that week, I put it in this meal plan binder. And in the front page, I've showed you this before. This is how dinner planning is, was taught to me. And I put them in some sheet protectors. And I have them done. I have the tabs by month. So I have my January meal plans, my February, March, April, May. We're on the tail end of May. So since this meal plan started May 28th, it will go in the May tab. Can you believe we're starting June already? Here is my weekly meal plan for the week of May 28th through June 2nd. And on Sunday, we had ribeye steaks macaroni and cheese, sauteed asparagus, and grilled sourdough cheese bread. And normally if we make steaks, I like to make baked potatoes, but I had made baked potatoes the following night on Saturday. And so I did macaroni and cheese this time around. And we have plenty of leftover steaks, so tonight we're gonna have nachos. And the nachos are gonna be with tortilla chips and with all with lots of cheese, sour cream, guacamole, tomatoes, onions, lettuce, jalapenos, refried beans, all that fun stuff. All that great fun nacho stuff. And then grilled chicken and spring vegetables will be asparagus and zucchini and roasted potatoes and a garden salad. And this recipe I got out of the cookbook, which I will show you and then Easy Shepherd's Pie, which I got the recipe out of the cookbook. I'm always looking for new shepherd pie recipes. They're so fun to make, and I'm gonna make that with a garden salad and some biscuits. And I have some pork chops that I'm going to cook this week, and I'm going to sear them on the stove quickly with some fried rice, and I have broccoli, and I'm gonna make a cucumber and tomato salad, and then we come to family fun night. Family fun night where we end up. Your guests will be as good as mine because it's not my choice. So that'll be fun. And then Saturday it's going to be an easy dinner night or it's going to be takeout. And then I'm going to make some salted caramel brownies. And I'm going to make one of the pasta dishes that I saw in there that looked really good. It's a Mexican pasta. And also... I cannot remember if I shared with you, we made caramel apples last week. And I know it's it's summer and usually make caramel apples in the fall, but Whole Foods had the most beautiful apples. So we decided to make a few caramel apples. And that was a lot of fun and we had a lot of fun. And I have to home make them because they're usually not safe otherwise. They're usually made in a facility with nuts or they have nuts on them. So. I make that at home so everybody can safely enjoy them and they were yummy and they were they were easy, they were easier than I thought. I've made them before but it has been a while and those were fun. But I'm going to make salted caramel brownies and I might make more bread. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that creamy soup inside the sourdough bread. The good thing about the sourdough bread is it freezes beautifully. And I love a bread that freezes beautifully. <laughs> So in the book, I bookmarked the recipes so we could find them easily. Here's the grilled chicken and spring vegetables with the asparagus and the roasted potatoes. And I am adding zucchini to it because I have some of that I need to cook. The easy shepherd's pie. Doesn't that look yummy? Here is the Mexican taco bowl spaghetti. And I'm going to make this as a side. I'm going to leave the meat out of it. And I think 
that way everybody can enjoy it and the meat will be on the side and there's a lot this was real this one was was one I want to try too the crispy chickpea and caper spaghetti and the artichoke without the sardine <laughs> and this was another bookmark that I want to try the margarita and tortilla pizza looked really really good and simple sometimes the simplest recipes are the best but the two I showed you in the beginning the grilled chicken and the shepherd's pie those are the ones that are on my menu plan sorry for the close-up so shepherd's pie and the grilled chicken spring vegetables and I wanted to show you something back here this was some of the desserts that we didn't see this is a cacao nib and pumpkin seed toffee that looks really good and it seems to be safe and then there was a lemon tangy lemon bars those look delightful so I, I can make things like this. I just have to find substitutions for the nuts. Okay, well, I'm going to end my menu plan vlog, and I hope you've got some ideas. Let me know what you're making this week or one of your favorite dinner meals to create or your desserts or your favorite restaurant. I would love to hear from you. So you all have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, and one more thing before I go, I wanted to show you the ribeye steaks that we cooked. They came out beautifully and I have so much leftovers. So that is why we are having nachos for dinner. See you soon. Bye.